Buzz with Jess Lujan. Guam soccer is our topic tonight. We've got the president of GFA, uh, Richard Lai, and coach of the uh, Metal team, uh, coach uh, Gary White. Gary, let, let's just talk about, uh, again, the, the um, not just the Metal team, but the program that you have there, because it's really an intense program. And, and, and you know, uh, I, I, did, I didn't know the intensity of the program you have, but you have people in the, the, uh, the academy now that actually, after school, they come in there, have a snack, they have time to study first, and then they go into, into the program. So it's a really intense program it's, it's a serious program yeah for sure I mean uh, and again it's perfect timing it's mm -hmm. all about timing we couldn't have run the Academy five years ago two years ago mm -hmm. you didn't have the facilities you didn't have the coaching staff you didn't have the numbers um, you didn't have the expertise from the technical standpoint so it was just a perfect storm and what we had to do is we said okay we have to have success at the senior level mm -hmm. with the Mattel and the Massacada with the senior mm -hmm. women's um, but we also must make sure we have a foundation that mm -hmm. sustains the program sure. past Richard, past sure. me, past sure. everybody. Sure. And we needed an elite development mm -hmm. program. Mm -hmm. And we had the Robbie Weber Youth League, sure. which is going great, and the clubs are doing great jobs in the mm -hmm. clubs. But there wasn't that step above, which was elite player development. And now the National Academy is mm -hmm. elite player development. It's the feeder, feeder program, it's yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You yeah. matriculate from mm -hmm. the, the mm -hmm. academy into mm -hmm. the national youth teams and mm -hmm. then into the into the Metal mm -hmm. and into mm -hmm. the Massacada mm -hmm. uh, and then off to college and off to for professional contracts. So yeah. it was the one missing part that we never had. Mm -hmm. And that was one of Richard's and the GFA's mm -hmm. main mm -hmm. objective. Hey, don't just come here and coach the team. We've got to make sure we have a feeder system for all the youngsters sure. from the program. Sure. So. Now, now, you know, the, the bottom line here is to is, is playing. You, you got to, con you know, you want to get good at something, you got to constantly work. Richard, you never stop working. Never stop. <laughs> you got to constantly do that. You got to constantly play. You got to constantly play p teams that are better than you as well, players that are better than you. Uh, Guam, there are a lot of great players, but they have to go beyond that as well. In regards to your to your program, uh, you know, of course, there 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 programs with with the academy, and then in their school programs. But it's, it's a year-round program. Likewise, if they try to get into school, do you guys help them again try to get looked at and scouted by, by the universities to try to get their, as their program? Then, again, you know, when, when, when needed, you kind of pull from it. They're, they're kind of like your, your minor leagues that you can yeah. pull from. Well, I think Richard was smart with that as well because <laughs> of, and when, he, when we met, was because part of my job in Seattle mm -hmm. was to make sure that our elite players and the youth teams mm -hmm. and the Sounders were able to get college scholarships all over the US. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, I have a lot of contacts with colleges. Sure. A lot of those colleges are already in with us. They sure. want to be part of what mm -hmm, we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, they see that some of our players have already gone off and uh, done well in college. Mm -hmm. We have three uh, male players that will leave for college this year. Mm -hmm, They've mm -hmm. come right through the Robbie Weber Youth League. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, we have uh, a few, two for sure, female players that will go off to college. Mm -hmm. And that number will continue to increase. And the academy, for those that stay in the academy from the age of six until they're 14, mm -hmm. they will receive some type of scholarship through soccer if they stay mm -hmm. with it. You stay with the program. Because mm -hmm. not only do we focus on the soccer technical side, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but also we have full-time tutors that mm -hmm. do homework, uh, maths, English. We have nutritional and sports science mm -hmm. uh, development of players. So we're doing the entire, uh, the player is the center of everything. Mm -hmm. And what we're trying to, uh, supply at the at the National Academy is an elite program that would be competitive with any program in the world. Mm -hmm. Now let's 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 go to the administrative side now Richard uh, yes. um, what, at, at this point uh, of course uh, with with FIFA you're closely affiliated yes. with or very closely affiliated with with FIFA what do they think about the program now I mean and, and the rankings and 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 how you know how uh, our team the, the Guam team is is rising in the rankings Actually, we are being very highly recognized by FIFA. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, FIFA uh, asked Guam to become the model country mm. for the 2013. Really? Uh, yeah. we, I sent my general secretary, mm -hmm. uh, Valentino Sangil, mm -hmm. to FIFA house last January to answer all those questions. Question like, how do your country so small mm -hmm. able to have a successful mm -hmm. ranking improvement? Mm -hmm. Now, for example, for England to improve one or two ranking, mm -hmm. very, very difficult because mm -hmm. they're already on the top 10 sure, or 15. Sure, sure. We went up like 10, 15 slot mm. over in one year. In one year. In, in percentage-wise, it's almost like, like 
impossible. Mm -hmm. Then they look at it, the population size. Sure. We have less than 200,000. Less to, less to pull from. Exactly. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have less uh, talent mm -hmm. and population mm -hmm. to select for. Sure. sure. Unlike country like Japan, have 125 million people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they can easily find 20 very strong, very fitted mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. people to train. We need to really go scout them. Mm -hmm. uh, so FIFA also look at why do Guam, we give only very little money. They're able to build a training center, mm -hmm. they're able to maintain it mm -hmm. and upcap it, mm -hmm. and they're able to utilize every single facility mm -hmm. they build. Mm -hmm. So that's why they, they select us as mm -hmm. a model country, and we're very proud of it. Mm -hmm. And now, now we, tabled, we, 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 we taste the winning. Mm -hmm. We beat Chinese Taipei. They're 26 million population. Uh, they used to be like 20, 30 ranking before us. Mm -hmm. Now we're ahead of them now. Mm -hmm. Now is what we need is the next stage of improvement. We need the entire island to believe in our program. Mm -hmm. We need the lawmaker, we need the business people who believe in our program, help us to go another level. Get it to, to, get it to the next level. Exactly. Yeah. <clears throat> because right now we, we, we beat Chinese Taipei, mm -hmm. we beat Macau, we mm -hmm. beat Mongolia, mm -hmm. which we, we lost double digit to them sure. 10 years ago. Sure. Sure. Now we need to target a country like Hong Kong, and then Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, those kind of the country that mm -hmm. who have population roughly about, well, Indonesia, almost one billion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now, now Gary, um, we have the, some of the Matau team, of course, I'm, I'm proud dad, of course, Ryan Guy, mm -hmm. 13, plays for the New England uh, Revolution, plays for the national team as well. You have um, uh, three other players, you have the team captain, uh, Jason Cunliffe, um, you have uh, uh, Mariano yeah, yeah. and uh, Marcus, Lopez. Have, yeah, Marcus Lopez, is right, that are playing professionally in, in the Philippines as well. So, I mean, uh, professional teams are, 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 are looking at the Guam team as well and, and scouting that and saying, hey, hey, man, you're doing something right over there. And that all comes, the sad reality is, mm -hmm. Any program is always seen on what does the men's senior national team do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <coughs> and that sparks interest right through the program. Mm -hmm. So from that win against Chinese Taipei, there's a six-year-old in the academy mm -hmm. that has no idea what that win has done for that player mm -hmm. in five years from today. Mm -hmm. So we have to continue to improve yeah. with the senior team mm -hmm. because that's what people look at. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the great thing about Guam is I look at Guam as if it's a club. Mm -hmm. It's a, you know, because in, in most big countries, it's a city. Yeah. Now, what we can have for this club of Guam, mm -hmm. Guam you know, Guam FA or Guam mm -hmm. Club is we can get everybody behind it. Mm -hmm. And that is a very well supported club yeah. that yeah. would be successful in any yeah. league. Yeah. And I think now we have a product that people want to yeah. come and watch. Uh, we have uh, players that are now are marquee players. Yeah. Ryan, Jason, uh, Marcus, J.R. Romero, mm -hmm. uh, Sean Nicklaw. You know, yeah. we have players now that people can start to emulate. Be household names here as well. Exactly. There, there we go. And why not? Exactly. Why not have a, right. have, a pr have a program or a sport that the entire country can get behind. There we go. There that we can go. be successful. That's right. Hey, we come back, we'll talk about events that happened this weekend. Likewise, I'm going to extend the show to next week as well. I want to meet some of the Guam-based players, and you're going to break some news that uh, there's a worldwide video that's coming out real shortly, and we're exclusive here for The Buzz for next Wednesday. Be right back.